Hello, Poopsies. Thank you for joining me for this brand new candle wax reading ASMR video. This is a custom video book by Nicholas. Thank you, Nicholas, for booking your 30 minute personalized ASMR video. They didn't care really what I did, if it was tarot or just an ASMR life advice video or candle wax or coffee cup reading or tarot reading because he wasn't sure uh, what to book really. And I'll explain in detail and read back his message. But I felt like a lot of you needed to hear this. Maybe I felt like a lot of you, he gave me permission to post this publicly, but a lot of you needed this advice as well or are experiencing similar what he's going through. So this is gonna be a candle wax reading for you as well. I always say with these prediction videos, whatever resonates with you and draws you in, that's the message for you, okay? So you can disregard the rest. So, of course, and you can always listen to this for relaxation anytime. I know how entertaining it is to listen to prediction videos, so I know what it's like to be on the other end of it. So before this begins, can I just kindly ask you to subscribe? Thank you for all my new subscribers. And can I also ask you to book a service with me on TonyBomboni.com? I would really appreciate it if you could. Um, check it out, especially if you've never booked before. Um, I'm getting a few new people lately, so thank you guys. Um, I do want to shout out all the first names of anyone who booked a 30-minute or hour-long session with me. Thank you, Caitlin, Nicholas, Haley, Danielle, Chris, Tara, Jessica, and Andy. Thank you guys so much for booking your 30 minutes um, or longer on TonyBombardi.com, so I'll shout your first name out in the beginning if you do as well. So, um, this is, I decided to go ahead and do a 30 minute candle wax reading for life advice and anything else you need to know. I picked this yellow candle, this leftover that I had, and this gray white yellow candle. So let's begin, I'm gonna read his message. He said, Hi, Tony, I haven't booked one of your services in a hot minute. I believe I held myself together well for the past two years without external help. As of recently, I have been struggling with my identity, he says. I often feel as though I put up a fake person, much rougher, less friendly, and simply not myself. This is hard to say, but I've simply felt alone. I have a loving family, great friends, and virtually nothing bad going on in my life, yet I long for physical love simply to hug and feel someone else, something I can't do with the people around me. Um, I have picked this version of your services due to me being unsure of virtually everything. I struggle to commit to my studies. My finals are coming up and I have yet to put in adequate work. Everything feels pent up with no valve in sight. Please guide me in any way you deem fit. Thank you so much. Feel free to post the video for your YouTube. Love, Nick. Okay, so Nicholas, thank you for your wonderful message. Um, so I see that you just want to release this pent up energy for sure. Um, and maybe focusing on your studies, these finals coming up, someone to love being your true authentic self. Let's tap in and connect with these energies. Now I'm gonna start with this yellow candle intuitively. And you guys can message me just like that. You can send me short messages, long messages, no messages, just general reading. Anything you book on my website, link in the description below. Thank you for everyone who's ever sent me a message. I really do appreciate it and I look forward to working with you one-on-one, -on -one, just like this video and to continue working with you. So let's see what's going on with Nicholas at this time. Anything we need to know about Nicholas? We just read their message aloud. They're going through all these things, dealing with these issues, but even though nothing bad's in their life, they're still wanting love, focus on their homework assignments, their studies. They feel sort of like really not sure what to do moving forward, I guess. So how can they figure their identity out. What do we need to know now? So I think you are definitely a work in progress here. Things are building up in a better way. Um, things are appear better for you. I would say um, 
definitely don't worry about it too much. Don't focus so much on the negative right now. Um, things are genuinely going well. They're going to continue to go smoothly. I would say um, there's definitely the friendships you need to ask more uh, from. Like, there, it, there's nothing wrong with and This is a true friend if you can ask for a hug from them. Okay? Ask more. There's nothing wrong with that. And yeah, it can get a little uncomfortable, maybe. Especially if you go in for the longer hug and you don't want to let go. They think that you... Maybe sometimes the friend might think you mean something else or you have feelings for them, but just let them know like you just want a good old hug. Like, physical contact, I think, is very important. Human touch, obviously, you know. But, um... Th there's something here in regards to um, pi. I just saw the symbol of pi, like 3.14159265353. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and I, I, I feel like um, that relates, that odd symbol often correlates to me like an infinite symbol, like it never ends, like the numbers never end or um, uh, it goes in a circle, right? The circumference of the circle is like, it never ends. It, it's sort of, it, you keep revolving around the same thing lately. And um, there's a lot of this, like you said, pent up energy, but for sure, but it's more, you are needing to find a way out of this circle. So you're looking for an opening in the circle. Does that make sense? That's your way of going about this really and truly. How do you find it? Is there a path open? Yes, there's always paths open, but they're narrow paths. So um, I definitely feel like you will find your way out of this rut or this feeling overall. And you'll realize there's really ultimately no reason to feel a certain way. It's just kind of happening. We have to know the difference between what's just a feeling and what's actually reality, okay? Discerning the, between the two. <sighs> now, in terms of your studies, I see more so a lack of motivation than anything. Um, it's just about giving yourself that energy boost you need if it means getting yourself that extra cup of coffee during the day. It's just in the simple things, right? I think we make things harder on ourselves than they need to be sometimes. And knowing that you're at the finish line, you're at the finals, you're at the goal, right? You just have to chug through. This is like last minute stuff. And if anything, the studies will help you get your mind off feeling like you need this company. And there's nothing wrong with feeling it, but it's just allowing you to just feel, you know, like there's more. There's more out of life than meets the eye here. That's what I'm getting. I see like, um, kind of like a cup or a bowl or something, kind of like this one, but it's blue and it's deep. And I think it really ultimately shows the vastness of your emotional being. You're sensitive. You're soft inside. And you have a lot to share. You have a lot of internal wisdom and emotional intelligence. To even have got through the last two years on your own is wonderful. It's incredible. And um, that shows how proud of yourself you should be because you've accomplished so much in that that uh, period of time. And yes, things ultimately seem like um, sometimes on the surface like they're okay, but when they're really not, life can be beautiful but if we're not feeling it we're not life is not beautiful right <laughs> so it doesn't matter what we have or who's in our life it's just really inside what is going on within yourself your being that makes everything more rich and beautiful you don't need riches to have a rich life you get me I think there are supportive friends. There are good, I feel, good people in your circle. I don't feel like anything you have to release or let go right now. But definitely, definitely, definitely. 
make sure to go ahead and take care of those needs. Is there someone in your life that you really feel you can draw, start drawing closer to? Um, <clears throat> I think there could be some extracurricular activity in your school or, or somewhere where you can just start drawing closer to someone in an intimate way fearlessly, but maybe there is a fear attached to that. Maybe there's an uncomfortable ability that you're sensing in your spirit when it comes to trying to meet someone new or find someone to love and be there for you, okay? There's nothing wrong with asking for your need to be met. So make sure that that need is met um, in whatever way you deem fit. If you literally, I mean, don't laugh. I mean, you could even call up someone just as a cuddle buddy, literally. Like, I just need a moment. I need to just lay down for a minute. I mean... Is human nature I just need a moment of silence I need a moment of comfort I need it to be held um, there I'm sure there is someone out there even if obviously if you do so safely a, a stranger um, that is also having that same need to be met human cut cuddling touch interaction so I think you're being encouraged to um, do that, okay? Without judgment. Guilt free. There's nothing wrong with having your needs met. You're human, you need your needs met. Um, so, again, poopsies, you're listening to Nick's message messages remember this is for you as well okay maybe you're having this need as well this message is for you as well so mm, it's time to open the door i see and shine a light oh, and address what's bothering you really what is wrong what upsets you what moved you so deeply what is it about life that just sort of got worse over time when you thought it would have been better or continued to stay the way it was you know life changes you know nothing stays the same this plant will die eventually I mean nothing is for an eternal reason neither are you what can you do with this limited time here to make it all the better maybe just maybe you're suffering because everything is going well Maybe you're finding a reason to suffer. Maybe nothing really is wrong, but you're finding what is wrong because nothing has been wrong for so long. You knew how the, the solution to your problem so long. Then now you just sort of want to switch it up a bit. I think it's exciting to you. I think finding answers in different outlets is maybe the new path moving forward realizing yeah we may not have all the answers we need within but we can look for help we can look for backup and i apologize if that startled anyone i just if it slips out of my hand or it's near the end and it burns my finger it, it's done that message is over so i have to let it go i will move on though to a second candle because when you book a 30 minute candle wax reading on tonybomboni.com you get two candles so i will drink some water so you hydrate my throat. I've been doing a lot of talking and bookings today, so. Okay. So I will continue. I just want to double check. I usually like to double check on people's message to make sure I covered all grounds here. I'm just going to quietly reread to myself. So let's talk about your identity more. We haven't discussed that enough. Okay. Maybe a bit more about your studies, eh? So let's talk about this personality change, something within you that has shifted. And furthermore, about your education, perhaps. 
What has changed? What shifted? Why do you have to go through this? Nick and other purposes at home watching this video. Simply put, you're just unsure about a lot of things right now. Life, you're questioning reality, you're questioning yourself, everything, those around you. I think you just kind of got fed up with the way things are. Maybe you feel like you're not really, truly... Um, you're happy, but it's like... Mm. Let's see. I'll let spirit speak. Give me one moment. You like a challenge. Uh, you definitely... Would rather continue. I think you haven't been given challenges lately. You haven't, besides the, the homework and stuff, the studying, you haven't been um, challenged in other ways that you haven't been challenged before. You kind of are like, all right, I got this. And it's not that you're bored. It's just you don't know where to go from here. Like I said, you, you, you're not certain of your ability to continue now that things are, something has changed, something has shifted, and you're becoming more self-aware. Maybe others have made you self-aware. Maybe your friends have pointed out that your behavior, or, or maybe sometimes even there's an attitude that they, quite frankly, don't like, and they pointed it out in you, and that caused you to become even more self-aware and figure out, hey, this is, I don't know, I don't see it as wrong. It's just where you're at right now, you know? We, we never really should judge or label where we're at, you know? It's just where you're at. <clears throat> it's not something that really needs to be um, focused on so heavily. I think it's just... You're, you're kind of used to where you're at now, and that maybe can portray an energy of non-gratitude, like, well, we have it great for so long, we sort of, we're always looking for the next big thing, and when that's not given or provided right away, it, it's like, it cre creates like a dullness out of life, and, you know, I think a partner, a romantic partner, definitely invites that new excitement energy um, to some degrees. But it's not everything at the same time you are, because you are always the answer first and foremost. And you have to work through and figure out what you have to work through and figure out first before inviting this partner energy into your life because if you haven't worked through this issue, you're going to meet that person at the wrong time and they're going to continue getting that like behavior from you and you don't want to present that because that's obviously like no one wants to be around someone who's not like authentic or true to themselves so I'm not saying that you're not authentic you are it's just even just revealing this information and willing to share it publicly like that's the most authentic thing you could possibly do so it's not that you're not authentic it's just others have I feel made you feel that way you maybe feel that way yourself because you feel disconnected from yourself it's not that you're fake it's just because you haven't had time to really um focus on you. Maybe there's a lot of time focusing on friends and school and all the family members, but not enough on you. And so you had, you've had to put up a face and a smile for them because you are there for them and with them and you're around a lot of people who maybe kind of in a weird way depend or rely on you to be there with them and for them and hang out with them and stuff. So maybe it all became too much for you and you're 
because sometimes that person sucks our energy dry or we just spend too much time with them and we just want to be left alone and or maybe we have things to do and we keep delaying them because we're busy with this person so just when you feel those moments quickly pull yourself away and say okay I need me time and just excuse yourself and say okay I have things to do I have to go I'll talk to you later I'll catch you you know that's more authentic than pretending like you want to hang out with them you know so just you know you deserve to have your needs met like I said even if you ask someone for a hug and they say no like you know there was your response right there you know you you you, you can allow yourself permission to be around what it is you would like to be around if you don't want to put up with that <clears throat> if someone is not giving you what you want really and ultimately and truly you don't have to be around that you have the choice and the decision to pull yourself away from that okay as a sovereign human being so I'm just gonna kind of I don't know if this is a good idea I hope it doesn't sink I need to leave this to get a glass of water because I'm parched. Okay, sorry about that. Let's continue. <clears throat> so, anything we need to know about your schooling right now? For those who are not in school, let's say work. So if I ever say study or homework uh, or classroom, consider that maybe work homework, work assignments, projects, or the work room, okay? The work environment. So just convert it to your own experience. So for Nick, though, for school, I would say um, be gentle. I hear gently. Be gentle now. You know, you don't have to rush to get everything done. Do something for five, even, yes, even just five minutes. Put it down, walk away, have a glass of water, you know, uh, whatever. Eat your noodles, have a cup of tea, and then continue later, have a coffee. You know, maybe text a friend for five minutes. That's better than nothing. And then go back five, ten, fifteen minutes. See, pace yourself, see if you can do something more. It's always recommended even to rest your eyes, uh, not just when you're reading or staring at a page but on the computer as well, on your phone. Every hour, if you have, if you are looking at it for an hour straight, take a 20 minute break. If you're looking at it for 20 minutes straight, take a five minute break, right? Whatever interval makes you comfortable. Um, so just relax, okay? Give yourself permission to rest. You don't have to rush to get everything done because I used to be like that too with you know, like clients and bookings. I'm like, I have to get it done within a few hours. And I'm like, yeah, I burned out pretty freaking bad, you know? Um, and the quality of my work dropped because I was rushing it. So, you know, you take your time. This doesn't need to be rushed, okay? There's no rush in the universe. The universe is not rushing. Life doesn't hurry to grow. Why should you? when you are part of this life, this creation, this universe, this dimension. Exactly. Always flow with the flow of life. You will always go far when you do. If you try to force anything, push anything to happen, it will always go against you. I promise you, mark my words. Let it flow, let it go, okay? Better days, better opportunities, more excitement out of life. I've been getting a lot of that too, that's why I say this message is for everyone. People have been coming to me with confusion lately, like, where do I go from here? What do I do from here? Life is boring, I'm bored, I don't know what to do, like, I feel lost, I feel confused. And, you know, I think it's a very common collective energy, you are not alone. And, I think it's just really about facing reality sometimes for you. It, it's just, face the facts. Face where you're at now, fearlessly, because you know it's not going to last forever, okay? <sighs> but in terms of school, yes, neither will your school. Again, you're almost done with your final. That means you're done with the semester or school year, right? I assume. So, um, take it easy, okay? You'll be fine. You'll pass. I see 
something maybe you feel like you might fail. Yeah, you might fail a test or a class, but it's not the end of the world, okay? Um, I see something has to fail to bring something better. So maybe you feel like you didn't fail a class, you didn't fail homework, but you failed at doing better, okay? You're only a failure if you think you are, okay? You can be on a five times a week workout regimen, but still enjoy a, a bowl of ice cream, okay? You're not a failure for having that ice cream. Okay, so just relax into it more. Relax into where you're at now. Be okay with not having company the way you want company. Be okay with where you're at now because again, it won't last forever. So school ties in with your real life in a way. It's like they both have a dual lesson for you. The same lesson is in both circumstances. So where do you see yourself comparing your experience in life to what you're doing, what you're focusing on? And as we all know, what we focus on, we attract, right? So are we just going to focus on the dreadful parts? Or are we going to focus on how amazing, again, this gratitude needs to come through now? This I think that will just really shift your mind for a bit, this gratitude of how amazing and incredible your life is right now, and that you even get to go to school. There's many millions, maybe billions of children that are just definitely billions when we think of human lifetime, uh, the whole collective humanity that's ever existed. Billions of children were never able to go to school. And school isn't everything, but it is something for sure. And so it's, you know, many people go unhugged today, but when was the last time you asked? When did you boldly ask for what you wanted? Right? So don't be afraid to. <sighs> so again, for poopsies, don't be afraid to ask for what you want, really. Anything. It doesn't have to be any anything I'm talking about. You'd be surprised at the answer. You would be very surprised. I would make no money if I didn't ask someone to book my service. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? Obviously, it's one and the same. It's like... You can get so much more by just simply daring, having the confidence to ask, not beg, ask. If you really need something, yeah, beg, but you don't have to. If you have enough confidence behind your ask, you don't need to ever beg, ever. Okay. So, um. I'm gonna tell you something now. I feel like a lot of people, this is releasing something heavy, emotional. This is really, going, I think a lot of you will grasp this once and for all, this concept. And this is where the shift begins for a lot of you. In changing your life for the better, for good. Permanent change. There's a lot of permanent change coming up. And I have to tell you, this is all going to be, for you all collective, Nick included, very good change. There's a very steady foundation you're building in your life, and a beautiful, a beautiful life, like you're planning and designing everything from your future home to what you want everything to look like outside, inside, and how you feel during that time. Um, you, you guys are like... You're all planning something right now because you're already seeing it unfold before your eyes. Sorry, the camera interrupted. You can go from hope to having belief then to having faith to knowing confidently, having faith, knowing that something will happen, but always have some hope that will always keep you going even if times get tough or you may feel down about some things. So let's tap into final messages. I see a spider here. It's like letting you know basically that a spider can show up and then hide out of nowhere. They're one of the most intelligent creatures on planet Earth. So you are very smart. You've come very far. But you don't have to hide your problems from others. If they're true friends and true family members, you can reveal how you feel and you should not be ashamed to ask for help from me, from anyone, okay? There's nothing wrong with getting back up when you need it. Okay? And it doesn't make you less than it doesn't make you dumb. It doesn't make you stupid.
always help yourself. Feel free to let your guard down. This is saying and ask. Thank you. God bless. Love and light. 20% Tony too. Hope this helped you. Gave you the guidance and said you may have been looking for it this time. Nick and whoopsies. <laughs> Best wishes in your journeys up ahead. Take care now. Love and light. Blessings to you all. And make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this session. And you want uh, your own personal custom candle wax reading out for 15 minute and 30 minute candle wax readings on my website. Links in the description below. And I will see you all very soon.